In this video, we'll be setting up PyVision to authenticate with OIDC. You may have noticed in the previous section screenshots of the PyVision Administration Security page that the options for Use OpenID Connect with Process Identity Client ID were grayed out. This option is only available if we choose to use OpenID Connect only for user authentication. In this scenario, PyVision can be domainless as no authentication for the user or for the PyVision service relies on Windows. For this setup, the client ID acts in a similar way the Windows service account running the ISS app pool does. We will need to give this client ID, which is how PyVision will authenticate, the necessary permissions on the data archive and asset framework servers in order to function. Let's configure and test this option, which follows the steps in the documentation. On PySRV1, open a web browser and navigate to the PyVision administration page at pysrv01.pyschool.int slash pyvision slash admin. Then security, then identity, and under PyVision user authentication, choose Open ID Connect only. Above, we see that the options under Connection to PyData Archive and AF Servers are now available. Before we select the option for Use OpenID Connect with Process Identity Client ID, PyVision underscore Process Identity underscore PyServer01, we need to give this client ID the correct permissions in the Data Archive and AF Server. To do so, find PySystem Management Tools on the taskbar and open it. Navigate under Security to Mappings and Trusts. Click the New Mapping button on the toolbar. Select Open ID Connect and click on the ellipse to the right of Role. Then choose the Client ID option and find the client name PyVision underscore Process Identity underscore PySRV01 and click OK. To complete the mapping, we will select the Py identity that already exists with the proper permissions called Vision Service. Click the ellipse to the right of Pi Identity and choose Vision Service. Click Create to finish. Note, if you do not already have an identity with the proper permissions set up for PyVision, you can create one as shown in the documentation. Find Pi System Explorer on the taskbar and open it. Then choose Open ID Connect Authentication. In PSE, navigate to File, Server Properties, then select the Mappings tab. Right-click in the empty space and choose New Mapping. Select Open ID Connect, then click the magnifying glass to the right of Roll. Then choose the Client ID option and find the client name PyVision underscore Process Identity underscore PyServer01 and click OK. From the Identity drop-down, choose the already configured PyVision service identity called Vision Service. Click OK. Now that the appropriate permissions are set on the Data Archive and AF server, we can navigate back to the PyVision Administration Security page. Select Open ID Connect Only and select Use Open ID Connect with Process Identity Client ID PyVision underscore Process Identity underscore PySRV01, and then click Save. Note, for the above step, you must sign into the PyVision administration page with Windows. In a new browser tab, navigate to PyVision. You may be authenticated already, or you may be asked to log in again. Once you are granted access, you are now using OpenID Connect. You can verify this by clicking on your username to see that the option for Windows credentials is no longer available. For further verification, you can create a display with a Pi Data Archive tag and Pi AF attribute to verify permissions are being passed through correctly.